Now we're going to move on to the next part of her daily practice for the week, which is naming the parts of the violin and the bow. I like for students to be knowledgeable about their instrument. Um, it kind of helps them develop, to develop a little more pride, own, pride in owning an instrument and playing an instrument. So she's going to point to the parts and tell you what they are. String, E, A, D, G. Speak slowly. Fingerboard. Ribs, echoes, tailpiece, fine tuners, pegs, pegs box, straw, shoulders, back, belly, button. Mm -hmm. Did you do that one? Chin rest. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think that's it. Very good. Oh. Neck. Right. Next we are going to work on how to hold the bow and doing some bow hold exercises. So I'm going to hand Katera the bow. She's been working on this for three days now. Excellent. Very good. Okay, let's get a little close. Walk up a little closer. I think that's too close. There. She has these two fingers curved around the bow, like feet hanging down over a pier in the water. The pinky is right on top of the stick. This finger lays between these two knuckles right there on the stick. And the thumb is bumpy. It comes up to meet the middle finger. Now, Katera has been working on this for three days now, and what I did was I, I showed her a picture of a bow hold, and I would have her study it, and I would have her practice holding the bow, fixing her fingers on her own. I would have her do this for maybe five minutes, and then when she was ready, I would check it, and I would just make corrections as needed, but eventually she was able to do it. Now, Katera is eight, correct? Yeah. Some students who are very young will need more time with this and a lot more hands-on. Um, but she's doing a really good job. The bow hold, is, it's extremely important that you be patient and let students learn how to master this bow hold before they play the bow on the string. The bow hold must be mastered and the violin hold must be mastered independently of themselves before you put them together. That way you don't create a whole lot of confusion. Okay, so now that Katera has a great bow hold, she's going to show you how she's been working on windshield wipers this week. Okay. And when she does this, the pinky has to stay on top. Okay, ready? Wipers on the bus. Go swish, swish, swish. Swish, 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 all the way over. Please do him. Swish, swish, swish. The wipers on a bus go all the way. Swish, swish, swish. All through the town. Yes, you must continue all the way over like that. Okay, that way the pinky actually does its job. And don't move this part of the hand. Just try to move the wrist as much as okay. you can. Let's try again. Wipers on a bus go. Swish, swish, swish. Swish, swish, swish. Swish, swish, swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish all through the town. Excellent. Good job. Another bow exercise that we haven't done yet is called the bow poem. This is pretty, pretty common in the Suzuki community. And I'm going to teach it to Katera for the first time so you get to see it. Okay, so you hold the bow straight up and down once you have achieved a good bow hold and straight up in front of you. And you go up like this, up like a rocket, down like the rain, back and forth like a choo-choo train, 
around and around like a great big sun, bow in my hand, curved pinky, and you point to it, pinky, curved pinky, and bent thumb, point to the bent thumb. Very good. So let's do that. You're going to do it by yourself this time. Hold your bow out. Ready? Put this hand down. Go. Up like a rocket. Slowly. Up like a rocket. Down like the rain. Back and forth like a choo-choo train. Around and around like a great big sun. Bow in my hand. Curved pinky. Bent thumb. Bravo. Good job.